21 threes in their last outing. That is a bunch regardless of who you were playing. If it was in practice, it would be impressive. So that's a big key to Baylor's defense tonight. Tonight, not let them explode on the perimeter. Uh, Jada Walker at the point for the Bears. Another transfer from the University of Kentucky. Nice pass down low. There's an assist for Gray Edwards spotting Asia Blackwell. And the Bears grab the first two points of the Boy, night. How about that great move without the basketball by Asia Blackwell? 2-0 Baylor lead. Utah comes down low. There is Gray Edwards with a block and then a tie-up. Isabel Palmer inbounding for Utah. She had 21 in their most recent game. Uh, she's a terrific outside shooter. Made seven out of ten threes in their last game. Right there, takes them strong to the paint. Utah was 27 and five a year ago. Their ninth year as head coach of the Utes. How about Ray Edwards? Oh, assist on the first bucket. She gets the second one. Baylor leads 4-2. A minute and a half in to the first quarter. Palmer to Neepkins, drives, banker, no good, loose ball tipped out, Utah grabs it. There's Peely, a three shot, no good. Little Page bugs the rebound for Baylor. Well, Peely has made three threes in their first two ball games. She's not afraid to take it. Jada Walker in a double team. Gets it away to Little Page Bugs with the Atlanta Dreams. Quite a, quite a coup when Baylor got here to, her to take the reins of the Baylor program, doing a terrific job. Jim, that foul was on Peely, and the first one was on her also. She's got two fouls in less than two minutes of the first Boy, that quarter. that could be huge in this ball game, needless to say. Asia Youngs, 5'11 senior from Jonesboro, Arkansas, comes in for it. Neepkins, a three, is off the mark. Rebound, Sarah Andrews pushing the tempo. Dre Edwards finishes with the lay-in. Yeah, but how about that assist to Jada Walker? Great job by Edwards. Her six-point, Baylor's six-point. How about the start by Dre Edwards? 6-2, Baylor on top. Here's a lob and stolen away by Dre Edwards. Yeah, who else, John? Exactly. <laughs> Asia Blackwell to Edwards for three. Oh, my goodness! What a start to the game by Dre Edwards. The Je Dre Edwards show, student section going nuts. Huge ovation from the Baylor crowd. 7-0 run by the Bears. Edwards has seven of Baylor's nine points to start. Give and go. That's Kennedy McQueen for Utah. Well, nice, nice offside defense reaction by Baylor on that last possession. Edwards again with a hot hand. Whoa, man, threads the needle with the pass to Asia Blackwell. Four seconds to shoot for Utah. Palmer puts up a long three. Banker no good. Reset of the shot clock. Offensive rebound. That three is good. Long offensive rebound can do to you if you don't get control. Heapkins averaging 17 points a game, shooting 61.5% from oh. three-point range. Well, there's another mistake. Utah not shy about shooting threes. Their second game, their most recent game, 61% of their shots were from three-point range. For Baylor, 40.6% by comparison were beyond the arc. Deja Young drives in. A collision. That was on Sarah Andrews. That is her first. Jada Walker out there, super quick point guard. Yaya Felder in to take her place. Blackwell clicks off a three, shot no good. Neepkins the rebound. I'm sorry, not Neepkins, but Kennedy McQueen runs it up. Queen the junior from Hennifer, Utah. A nice drive by Palmer. Great outside shooter, but uh, Baylor's playing her so tight, she's getting drives to the basket. Open in the corner, the three is no good by Yaya Felder. Got the offensive rebound and the putback. Well, the long arms of Little Page Bugs paying dividends for Baylor there. Great positioning on the offside by the sophomore, last year's freshman of the year in the Big 12. Neepkins behind the screen, her three is no good. Rebound, Yaya Felder. Felder, nice job right there. She's a transfer from Ohio University. 
blows by the defender to the basket, lays it in with a foul. Yeah, yeah, Felder, a chance. They're not rattled right now. They knew Baylor would be very emotional coming into this game, and they have uh, adjusted. But uh, Yaya yeah, Felder at the line now used her speed to get the layup for the last possession for Baylor. Finishes off the three-point play. That was uh, some free throw, missed free throws, wasn't it, that sort of cost yes, yes. Utah in, in the Sweet 16. Yes, exactly. Tough loss for them at that point. Baylor leads 16 to 7. Utah comes back after the made free throw. It's been six years. Is that I believe right? it has. <laughs> Felder passes on the baseline. Three is in from the left corner yeah. by Bella Fontleroy. Yeah. No, didn't have much time to get those words out of my mouth. She's a very good shooter, but look at this Utah team. Wow. They spread the floor and drive it hard to the basket. That's Palmer, who's known more as a good three-point shooter. Made seven out of ten threes in their last game, but hurting Baylor on the drive here tonight. Elder drives in, loses the basketball, turnover Bears. Palmer has four in the early going to lead Utah. The queen on the perimeter. Well, Utah is spreading the floor against Baylor and really getting some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Guess who's number one in the nation scoring? Who South Carolina, South 107. Carolina. They had 100 against Notre Dame and 114 against Maryland. Jeez. That is filling up the basket. Yeah, well, Baylor in a zone right now for the first time. Very unusual for a Nick, Nick, Nicky Collin team to be in a zone. Well, may not be in it long. Inesh Vieta shot over the zone with the made three-pointer. Oh, great move by little Paige Bugs. Just didn't reward herself with the good finish. Miss down low. Here comes Utah. Three-point game now. Bears led at one point by nine early on. Utah withstood that opening charge and has played really well since. Yeah. Partly misses from three. Baylor taking some quick outside shots now. Nice pass in traffic, bucket in. That's a 9-0 run by the Utah Utes. Well, Jenna Johnson, an experienced inside player at 6-2. All of a sudden, we've got a one-point ball game because Utah's taking it tough on the drive to the basket. Andrews, a three that's good from the right wing. Well, I was just about to say Baylor was taking the three-point shot. Well, this Utah team knows how to run. That is a charge. Samantha Crisp is on, first time tonight. Sam Crisp, 6'2 sophomore from Castle Pines, Colorado. Transfer from Boston U. Well, Jana Van Geitenbeek on the floor now at the point position for Baylor. She was a transfer to Baylor from Stanford. Well, Pac-12 in her yep. background as well. Bartley for three, shot no good. Rebound, staying with it. Couple of misses in there. Deja. The second leading scorer, uh, rebounder in the nation when she transferred here from the University of Missouri. She can flat out get after it on the offensive glass. Wilkie on the right side. Nice give and go. Drive down the baseline. Ooh, and a blocking foul is called on. Yeah. Top ten in the nation in five other categories last year was Utah. Tied for the second most wins in school history. Reese Ross on the floor for the first time tonight. 6-1 freshman from Rapid City, South Dakota. Hartley for three. Shot no good. Ross the rebound and the run out for Utah. Well, obviously, Bartley's got the green light to take that three-point shot. She's open. Good job, Utah. No panic in that Utah team. No. Very experienced team. Five starters back from the Sweet 16 ball club. They're showing it. Miss on the three. Rebound Blackwell brings it up herself for the Bears. Outside to Felder for three, and it's good. Well, Yaya Felder averaged 22 points a game last year at Ohio University. Both ball clubs continuing to play tough pressure man-to-man -man defense. Drive to the bucket. Off-balance shot by Vieira. He's at 27-22. Bears lead by five. Eight and a half minutes on the clock. Second quarter. There's a three that is no good. Utah brings it up. Down by five to the Bears. Second quarter. His top five non-conference opponent to play here in the Farrell Center since 2018-2019.
That's when top-ranked UConn came in. Baylor won that night. Oh, a great job inside by Jenna Johnson that time, holding her position in the paint. That was terrific. Andrews step back three, and she nails it from the left wing. Now Sarah Andrews showing why she's the first team all Big 12 conference performer. Yeah, that was just a great drive. You saw so scrappy on the defensive end. Ray Edwards, that's going to be a charge. Great learning opportunity, even for a team as experienced as Utah. Bounds to Palmer, passes near corner, three is good. Bottom of the net. Yeah, she is literally a scoring machine, but Baylor did a nice job drawing the offensive charge from her to put her over there on the bench. But when she comes back in, it will be a different ball game, I assure you. Her teammates doing a great job. It's a one-point game, even with Peely on the bench. Uh, we're going to take a look there at Dene Denae Fritz' effort and then little Paige Bugs getting on the glass, leading to the two free throws. But right now for Baylor, we have three of the five first-team all-freshman team selections <laughs> on the right. floor. That's Denae right. Fritz made the all-freshman team from Iowa State. Now playing for Baylor, and of course, Connell Roy and Little Pledge Bugs both in on that team. <laughs> That's so, right. Three of the five right out here tonight. How about that? <laughs> and grizzled sophomores now. Yeah. All three yeah. of them played a lot last year. One of two free throws, one point. Baylor lead 31 29. Baylor up nearing the four minute mark in the second quarter. A oh. steal by Sarah Andrews. Oh, terrific on ball defense that time by Little Page Bugs. Right on the floor, Andrews to Edwards for the lay in. Well, that combination scored the first bucket of the game. Coming back now to give Baylor a four point advantage. 33 29. Ray Edwards, nine points in the first half. Three by Ross, in and out, no good. No, that was good discipline defense by Dre Edwards on Ross out in that corner. Ross, the freshman, not shy about taking the three. Little Page Bugs misses from three. Danae Fritz, the rebound, the spin, and the putback basket. Yeah, nice job by the transfer from Iowa State. Into the corner for three. That shot is no good by McQueen. An offensive rebound for Johnson. Utah keeps it there half of the floor. There's a collision, and that is a charge. There's lead by six. Today, Fritz to Edwards. Not about a three. Instead, puts the ball on the floor. Pass underneath. Saved inbounds to Fauntleroy. Nice between two defenders for the bucket. Well, they respected her as an outside shooter. Got up on her tight. She just drove to the bucket. Nice defensive recognition by final Roy, but how about Utah? Palmer has a chance at a three-point play. Well, both of these ball clubs so it's impressive running the floor. Baylor 37, Utah 32. Little Page Bugs in the paint, spin, shot, no good. Utah looking to cut into that Baylor five-point advantage. Palmer will drive. Dre Edwards blocks the shot out of bounds. Take a look here. Dre Edwards fortunate to get that block and not pick up the foul. Utah with the ball under 10 on the shot clock. Palmer on the perimeter. Uh, interesting. Baylor again in a zone defense. Very rarely will you see a Nikki Collin team do this. But... She's got to put it up. Did not draw iron. Bears bring it into their forecourt. Leading by 5, 37-32. Jada Walker to Asia Blackwell. Top of the key. Out of Bella Fauntleroy, spins, puts it up and in. Oh, that young lady from Springfield, Missouri, she knows how to play. Right by Kennedy McQueen, cut off by Blackwell. Into the paint, off balance shot, no good by Johnson, but a foul. Good look at Coach Lynn Roberts there. He can't see her right arms in a cast. Told me an interesting story before the game is... Utah misses the free throw. Johnson off the line, but she told me she was out riding bikes with her twin sons last week and fell and broke her wrist. Oh. So that's why she's got her arm in the cast over there. One of two free throws by Jenna Johnson as Coach Roberts looks on. I'm sorry, that last foul was oh, not on goodness Edwards. Goodness gracious, you so talking about Fritz. Baylor inbounding, 20 seconds on the shot clock, 35 seconds on the game clock, second quarter. Here's lead by six. 
Pass cross court, deflected, last touched by Baylor. All right, now 11.8 seconds in the second quarter. Eakins with the ball, kicks it back outside, and a travel on the perimeter as Deja Young travels. Baylor will have it back. Baylor kept the pressure on. Utah not able to execute like they wanted. Lonnie White on for Utah Bears. Can't get it inbounds cleanly. Finally they do, and uh, Yaya had almost given up on that, but the clock didn't start until she touched it. They missed a long-range three. We'll see what a well-rested Peely does here. Good matchup. Her and Asia Blackwell inside. Blackwell has the tough job of guarding Peely, who can do so many things from all over the court. All right, here we go. Utah on the road. Dark uniforms. Has the ball first. They shoot in front of their bench in the second half. Palmer turns the corner. Drive, layup. Good. I am so impressed with this. Cuts the Baylor lead to four. It's 39-35. Just underway, third quarter. Gray Edwards, a three. No good from the left corner. Rebound by Isabel Palmer. And Utah puts the ball back in play. Healy begging for the ball down low. Pass on the perimeter, stolen by Blackwell. To have an uncontested drive to the bucket for two. Well, nice job by Baylor. That time, Baylor were in the zone defense. Now, Yaw Felder tries to clamp down on Palmer. Well, that's just too easy, John. There's got to be offside help coming. Four by Utah. There is a hard collision on the drive. Jim Gianna Neekins has three fouls. One or two, but Dre Edwards is there to clean it up for a bucket. Well, it's a great job by Dre Edwards holding her position there once she got the offensive rebound. Neekins to Peely going strong to the basket. Asia Black explaining to Colin how they made that call. Tough game to officiate. Brian Hall, Kim Hobbs, and uh, Nicole Brannon. Let's take a look. We can see. Yeah, she was definitely moving, but that's what makes Peely a great player. She knows how to operate in there. First two of the game. Who would have ever dreamed we play over 22 minutes and she did not score because of, because of the foul trouble. Taylor by five. Felder. Russells it up, shot no good. Loose ball taken by Jenna Johnson. Down low to Peely, going for her again. She no, backs you, this you, one you in. You can't guard her one on one from the back. That's a tough assignment for Asia Blackwell. To Walker looking to drive. Throws it up and in. Jada Walker, a veteran move. Well, that's what Jada Walker can do for you. She has great quickness. And being left-hander, that's a little different to guard when she makes that move to the bucket. Those points tonight for Jada Walker. Shot no good. Rebound, Dre Edwards for Baylor. Walker again. All the way. Shot no good. Yaya Felder flies in there for the offensive. Rebound outside to Edwards for three. A great job by Yaya Felder in for Sarah Andrews getting a great kick out pass to Ray Edwards. Heads up play by Baylor. Second made three of the night by Edwards. 14 in the game. Neepkins answers for Utah. Well, John, we're seeing two outstanding teams collide here tonight. A true top 20 contest. Baylor leads by five. Six-minute mark, third quarter. Little Page bugs in the low post for two. Yeah, talking about positioning yourself well in the paint. Hit set by Peely. Floors Walker. And a three-pointer is up and in. Jada Walker is on the bench as we resume play. It's Baylor's ball. Bears lead by four. 51-47. Uh, you and can't get loose with the ball like Little Page did right there. Little Page bugs. You can't hand it out. Quick-handed Utah defensive team. Here's Peely, the nice bounce pass on the baseline. Yaya Felder with the block yeah, shot. There's that offside help I keep talking about. There's got to be help coming from the offside. Asia Blackwell drives on the baseline. Trip there. Looks like that'll be a foul, and it is on Alyssa Peely, so that's three. So three on yeah, Peely. Peely and Nick can both have three fouls. They're going to get... Uh, Palmer that time on the foul for Utah. 
Baylor leading by four. Little Page Bugs on the inbounds. Misses the shot. Beatkins good position for the rebound for the Utes. Palmer on the perimeter. Put it in the hands of Peely. Drives on Edwards. Too far into the bucket. Wow, somehow spun out of there and banked it in. Well, that's nine points in five minutes and ten seconds now for Peely as she's come back into the game. Sarah Andrews' runner is no good. Utah takes it the other way. Two-point game in the third quarter. Neekins ties it oh, up. Great movement by Utah that time. They just know how to play without the ball. Great spacing, I keep saying, of the floor, opening up opportunities for each player. Tied for the first time tonight, 51 apiece, 4-10 on the clock, third quarter. Blackwell dribbles on the baseline, gives it to Edwards. Back to Blackwell. She'll drive in around her defender. She wanted to go try to get the charge, but didn't want to take the chance. Here, steal on the perimeter by Andrews. Felder diving at the ball. Drive layup, no good. Blackwell rebounds for the Bears. That last basket snapped a 7-0 run by Utah. Bears lead by two. Andrews, no. Little page bugs. Yes. Palmer on the baseline to Peely. Shot no good, but a foul. This young part of the season. Well, certainly that's good prognostication. They both look their part here tonight. Your Sweet 16 team. They are trying to put it all together with transfers and very, very little. Pac-12 Conference Player of the Year. Great, great player. Three on the perimeter. That's Jay Walker back out there. Hits the mid-range, Jay. Yeah, Jada Walker, just a very, very quick, terrific guard. She got in foul trouble early. Back making a difference now. And Neepkins went up for the shot, came down with the ball. That's what physicality can do to you. She's taking a lot of bumps, and she's caused a lot of bumps. Here's by five. Walker in the paint. Shot no good. Neepkins the rebound. Eakins runs it out herself. She's going to take it all the way. And a Whoa. charge. A charge is drawn by Asia Blackwell. Yeah. The fourth person will put Neekins on the Utah bench. Well, Neekins, great, great player. She'll be back in here at the start of the fourth quarter, I'll assure you. It's a minute 38 away. Baylor leading by five. Remember, this game was tied at 51, so a 6-1 run by the Bears. They get a 9-1 run on the three-pointer by Jada Walker. How about Jada Walker? Transfer from Kentucky. What a difference she's making here late in the ballgame. Down low to Peely. Edwards had the defensive assignment there. Jada Walker to Sarah Andrews. Step back. 16-footer. No good. Rebound Peely. Utah can play for the final shot here. Diagonal pass out, nearly stolen by Sarah Andrews. All right, final 15 seconds of the third quarter. Utah with the ball. Jada Walker on the other. To Pete. Under 10 seconds. Drives in. And lost the ball out of bounds. No foul call either way. It's oh. Baylor's ball. All right, so Baylor should get the final crack at the basket here in the third quarter. Inbounds to Felder. Four seconds to go in the period. Felder to the corner. Fontleroy for three at the buzzer, and it's good! Bella Fontleroy nails the three-pointer, and the Bears lead by nine over fourth-ranked Utah. Second personal on Vieira. First foul here in the fourth quarter. Edwards to Felder, drives in for the layup. How about that cut by Felder? Terrific basketball by the transfer from Ohio U. Biggest lead of the night for Baylor. 11-point margin, 65-54. First 30 seconds of the fourth quarter. Wilkie, a three, in and out, no good. Peely, the rebound goes up, muscles it up and in for two. Is it a nine-point lead again? Walker off the mark. Mid-range on the left side. Uh, probably a little too quick. Baylor had nobody on the offensive glass. Queen brings it up for Utah. Back to Peely underneath. Gets the handle on the ball. Spins well, and lays it you in. You know, Utah's going to try to go to her every time. There's got to be help there if you take a chance. 
Yaya Felder on the perimeter. Neely to the bench. She's got 16 all in the second half. She's got 16 of Utah's 25 points this half. So we'll watch that. Three team fouls on Utah already here in the fourth quarter. Asia Blackwell drives in. Spin, shot, up and in, and a foul. Asia Blackwell, terrific job right here. Transfer from the University of Missouri. She knows how to operate in the paint. She now has 12 points in the game. She and Dre Edwards lead the way, 14 and 13 now. 6.40 on the clock, fourth quarter. She's carried the ball a little bit there. No call and a lay-in with a foul. Free throw, no good. Can't complete the three-point play, but Kennedy McQueen, the rebound. Yeah, yeah, did not get a good block out, block out by little Paige Bugs. And there you go, Keeley. Well, outside to Andrews, to Jada Walker for three. No good, too strong. Well, good block out by Utah that time. Neepkins, you know she's going to make some plays. Walker hit two threes, but that time didn't get it. To Peely down low, wheeling around. Blackwell just, puts it in. <laughs> There's ball, now five, Andrews fires it up, long range three, no good. Rebound by Peely for Utah. Yeah, not a good shot. Baylor's got to work to get five fouls on Utah where they get to that charity strike. That could be a big, big difference. Three minutes scoring drought by Baylor, Utah on a 6-0 run. Neepkin, Neepkin misses the shot, rebound little Paige Buggs. Down from behind, nearly caught there. Gets it away to Andrews for three. It's good! Sarah Andrews splashes the three. Well, that was too much dribbling by Little Page Bugs, but it was a good ending. Ball was on the floor. Sarah Andrews said, let me head it, and she did it. Nine on the night by Andrews. Backdoor cut, lay in by Neepkin. Nice play. Now, Utah is just... Fantastic with their offensive execution. Great cuts. Here's Sarah Andrews at the four-minute mark. Thought about a three. Gives it to Fauntleroy. Into the paint. Floater is good by the sophomore. Yeah, now, Fauntleroy. see, that's great coaching by Nikki Collins. She told Fauntleroy, go against Neatkin. She's got four fouls. Go do your thing. Blackwell doing what she can against Peely, who spins and... Gets the reverse layup on the baseline. 22 on the night now for Peely. Well, let's see if they keep going at Neepkins. He's still on Bella Fauntleroy. Andrews. Oh, she's feeling it. Back-to-back -back threes by Andrews. The well, Bears lead by eight. Well, Sarah Andrews saying, if you're going to go behind that screen on me, I'm going to jump up and drill it. She did it. Vieta drives on the baseline, gets it back outside. Layup oh, that, around that. the defense of uh, Fauntleroy for the layup. It's the only way to stop Peely. She's got 22 in the second half, 9 of 10 from the floor. Jada Walker drives, reverse layup up and in. How about that quickness by Jada Walker? What a big basket. Taylor's got to keep from giving up the easy backdoor cut. And into the backcourt, Fauntleroy, Peely dive for it. And over and back Baylor violation, basketball. it's Baylor's ball. This originally was going to be the preseason uh, women's NIT, and that did not happen. They couldn't get any other games scheduled, so that's why they had the long break here early. Good gracious, you got to take care of that basketball. It's only eight points off the 12 Baylor turnovers. Under two minutes on the clock. Vieta drives. Jada Walker. Keep saying they've got five starters back from that Sweet 16 ball club. Get there. double cupcakes tonight. They're the preseason Pac-12 conference favorite. 27 win team a year ago. One of two by Vieta. Seven point Baylor lead. Little Page Bugs into the front court. Puts the ball in the hands of the senior Sarah Andrews. Andrews around the screen of Little Page Bugs to the baseline. Oh, my. I don't know what happened there. All right. Utes basketball. Minute 23 to play. Baylor 78, Utah 71. 
Neepkins drives, layup, oh, good. What a, well, Baylor's got to make sure they meet every pass now because Utah is going to be taking a lot of chances. There you go. Finally, Baylor will go to the free throw line. Sarah Andrews, very good free throw shooter. First trip to the line tonight for the senior Sarah Andrews. Very calmly knocks down the first. Long way from being in top condition, but uh, goodness, making some big, big plays. Two big free throws by Andrews. Timeout, Utah. Will be the inbounder. It's the ball in the hands of Vieta. Crowd certainly has played its part in this game tonight. Eakins a three. Shot no good. Dre Edwards the rebound. It's the ball to Sarah Andrews. Edwards now has 14 points and six rebounds in the game. She and Sarah Andrews tied for most points with 14. Sarah can take the lead with some knockdowns right here. Peely with 22. Very calmly, two free throws by Sarah Andrews. Bears lead by nine with 38 seconds to play. He can try to get it to Peely, and it's out of bounds. Turnover, Yates. Yeah, nice job defensively there. Baylor's really made some good adjustments. Baylor men taking on Kansas City. Here we go, Baylor's ball. 30 seconds to play. Utah finally will foul. Coach Kim Moulton led them to those championships in 05, 12, and 19. Oh, Sarah Andrews, you talk about stepping up big time. She looks what full of energy what right there. Game. Pushes the lead to 11 for the Baylor women. 24 seconds to go, 84-73. Vieta drives in, shot blocked out of bounds. Maybe another block for Dre Edwards. What a night she's had this evening. Inbounds three, corner no good. Follow. And yeah, Neepkins, who else? Very efficient 22 well, points. He and Neepkins, both first team all conference back 12. Second free throw by Neepkins. No good. Missed one, uh, made one of two. Kick it outside for three. And knocking down the three is Kennedy McQueen. Healy is from Anchorage, Alaska. There's ball. Got to get it in. Inbounds to Dre Edwards. Back to Walker. They don't foul. This game is over. They do not foul. And Baylor has a win on their home floor over fourth-ranked Utah tonight. First top-five win at home since January 3rd of 2019. Nikki Collin and the Baylor women over Utah.